Welcome to this video presentation of the final demonstration of the Swedish 5G positioning project. The goal of this project was to evaluate the potential of 5G millimeter wave to support positioning for automated and connected vehicles. My name is Henk Weimers and I'm from Chalmers University of Technology in Gothenburg, Sweden. Chalmers is also the coordinator of this project. The other project partners are Lund University, Ericsson, Vioneer, Seft and Qualcomm. The project was founded by Vinova, Sweden's innovation agency. Driving fully or semi-autonomous requires a good accuracy to stay in between the lanes and to be able to predict what will happen in the traffic, especially in areas with poor GPS signals. The environment localization subsystem is fed with information from LiDAR, camera, radar, GPS, IMU, etc. The more inputs the positioning systems have, the better positioning they will provide. This is exactly where the 5G positioning signal could add value to the autonomous drive stack. Therefore, we believe that if a 5G position signal was provided, in addition to the existing sources of information, the positioning could be improved. This project is important because it brings together stakeholders across the value chain, such as 5G infrastructure, 5G user equipment, services and applications, together with leading experts in academia. Over the two and a half year lifetime, the project has contributed on requirements, models, algorithms, signals and architectures. In addition, we have just performed a demonstration, which we will detail later in this presentation, which will push the boundaries of cellular positioning and provide important insights and opportunities, not just for the automotive segments, but also for other application areas. And finally, the project will provide important inputs to SIGG research in the years to come. The vision of the demonstrator is to perform vehicular positioning with only a single base station. This is in sharp contrast to conventional positioning, which requires three or four time-synchronized base stations. By using antenna arrays at both the base station and the vehicle, we can harness resolvable multipath off of buildings and other passive objects, which allows us to localize the vehicle even in an unknown propagation environment. At the same time, we can also learn a map of this environment. Here is the hardware used in our demonstration. At the vehicle side, we use two boards from Seaver semiconductors, each with a 2x8 planar array. The user is in receive mode, collecting channel impulse responses per transmit and receive beam. From these beam space observations, we extract the time of arrival, angle of arrival, and angle of departure from each resolvable multipath component. At the base station side, operating as transmitter, a 34x4 planar array was used, part of a commercial millimeter wave base station from Ericsson. This base station generates a periodic sequence of 136 directional beams. The demonstration took place near the Ericsson premises in Lund. The user equipment was mounted on a test vehicle provided by Vioneer, which was further equipped with the necessary hardware and software for processing, including a ground truth RTK GPS system. At the demonstration, representatives from several universities and companies were present. My name is Simon Lindberg from CAMCOM Research and Technology. In this 5G positioning project, CAMCOM has been responsible for the receiver side so that it can connect to the base station, synchronize the beam sweeping and collect data. A major breakthrough for us in this project was that we for the first time could connect the receiver system which we've developed with the commercial base station. During the project, we also gained valuable knowledge about both 5G communication and localization, which will be useful in our future work. We're also encouraged by the results from the project, as it shows that it's possible to use 5G signals from a single base station for positioning purposes. So welcome then to the uh, final demonstration day of the FFI project 5G positioning. We are here in Lund, Skåne, hosted by Lund's Technical University and Ericsson uh, to do the final demonstrations under the Ericsson millimeter wave base station here. The 5G position is an FFI project with partners from Ericsson, Vioneer and Ceft and Qualcomm. 
and also the academia universities uh, Lund's Technical University and Chalmers. And what we are demonstrating today is the capability of using one millimeter wave base station to localize a terminal or a vehicle in this case with an accuracy of down to one decimeter. We're doing that by using a user terminal on the roof here that is receiving the beams from our base station and we combine that with the GPS RTK station that gives us uh, the ground truth information down to centimeter accuracy. So, hello, so my name is Fredrik Tuveson, I'm a professor of radio systems here at Lund University. So today I'm very happy to say that we're now doing the trials here on site with the vehicle, so that we're capturing the, the beams from the commercial base station that we have here. We're receiving them at the vehicle in the, in the back and uh, what we're really doing now is taking the next step so that we are aiming for multipath aided positioning. And that is that we go beyond the beam resolution that we have at the base station in order to improve the uh, accuracy for the positioning. I think this is really key uh, when it comes to accurate positioning is to use the multipath that we have here because the multipath uh, components they, that we have, they act as kind of uh, virtual transmitters and they are virtually super coherent transmitters. And I think that is really how we can go beyond uh, meters or tens of meter resolution to something much better. What we hopefully get at the end of the day is down to a centimeter decimeter level and uh, that is what I'm really looking for forward to in this project. Thanks. My name is Peter Hamburg. I'm from Ericsson Research situated in Gothenburg and uh, I've been very happy to participate in this project. I think it's been really nice to work with the skilled academic partners in bringing the, the most advanced signal processing and, and localization schemes to, to life. Now we're demonstrating it with a live base station, with a, a vehicle, and showing that we can actually achieve very high accuracy position with a single base station and with a, a, a mobile vehicle here. So I've been very happy to participate with this, this strong consortium of both academic and industrial partners. Yeah, hello, it's very, I'm very happy to be here today on this final demo with the 5G POS project. It's so important that we are able to, uh, to uh, make a good positioning using only the, uh, the radio access system uh, instead of just having this uh, the, the, the traditional system using satellites. Uh, it can be a, a very important source of providing extra accuracy but also reliable uh, fallback solutions. For, 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 for other situation. I think this is a, it, it's very important already today in the cell phones, but in, in vehicles or, or even in, in augmented reality situation, this will be a very important thing for the future and also a very important feature that we will see in the, in the cellular systems from now on.